See this? Really terrible. Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be retwisting my dreadlocks. It's a banger. Hey, it's a banger. Hey, it's a banger. 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 Whoa. This hair look rough. I'm gonna give you guys the before and after looks. I'm gonna ACV rinse it up first and then I'm gonna get to it. My dreadlock has not been retwisted for about five months. And I am now doing them because I don't like getting retwisted every month. That's that damages your hair in general, man. Don't do that. If you were to get professional retwists, they tie it so tight on your head. Your scalp hurts, your head hurts, and plus you put too much stress on your uh, on your hair, on your new growth. And so I don't like doing that. So I like getting retwists at least three months to five months. You can get like a dry retwist in the in the in between, which is like getting out the shower, getting the shower, twisting it, or getting out the shower and just twisting it after taking a shower or shampooing your hair. I do the ACV rinse. If you guys haven't checked out the other video that I did ACV rinse on, you guys can check it out it's right here. And if you guys have not seen me retwist my hair before, this will be a pleasure to show you guys how my hair looks before and after. But before before we get into the video, here is intro. Intro. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All this right here is basically the hair I used to chop down. All this hair right here is what I used to what I used to have uh, trim it down so that I can get a good hairline because I used to chop it down like this and get a hairline basically. But then now I grew it for about four months, five months, and so this is what it looks like five months of growth. And now basically I'm, we're gonna blend it in with the other dreads. And same as the size, see? Looks really terrible. All right, see this? Really terrible, really terrible, all right. So we starting with the ACV rinse to get all the build up out first and then we gonna, we gonna retwist it after we wash it. But right here, we starting with a regular baking soda. This will help basically activate the apple cider vinegar once we'll she puts on her. My wife is helping me with this process. Uh, she's getting all the, the 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 parts where the buildup is at mainly, which is at the bottom of your dreads, uh, because of the amount of dandruff that I get. And uh, if you guys were to wash your dreads with shampoo or even retwist, have retwisted before with different kind of gel. The buildups is mainly, you'll find the buildups on the, on the roots. So she's basically soaking up the other dreads while she is getting the roots. And now you see the, the apple cider vinegar being activated uh, or the baking soda being activated by the apple cider vinegar. I just got done with the ACV rinse and here's a quick tip for y'all best way to to dry up a dreadlock is to grab a towel put it on top of your head and go around it and then twist it and put it like a like an Indian um, crown or something like that and let it sit or you get a diffuser get hair dryer but I don't like he, he is bad for your hair, so I'm not using that much, but this is another way right here. This is the best way right here, I, I'll do it. I grab everything, and I shake it, and I go all the way down. Shake it, go all the way down. Rub it, all the way down. Shake it, rub it, all the way down. 
shake it, rub it all the way down. Shake it, rub it all the way down. Cause oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you guys hang your dreads up like this, your hair all the time goes all the way to the tip. So basically I'm just fast forwarding the whole movement while I'm drying the top and then the bottom. This is the fastest way I dry stuff. Like I literally just go about like this and go about my day and I don't see any drip. Voila, dry dreads. Let's go to the retwist. Like I said, guys, don't get on my head. I've been busy for a while. <laughs> and so I didn't retwist my dreadlocks for about three, three to four months. Five months totally like a good retwist, but I have done a dry retwist in between. But at the same time, I like keeping my hair in bun and that is a problem. Um, I don't like rocking my hair down, it gets it gets too annoying. Uh, but out of this whole dreadlock uh, retwist, uh, we figured out that we I have another set of Congos, I guess, which you guys will see. Uh, or which you guys see her doing it right now, actually. The one that she is twisting is a Congo. And it was not supposed to be a Congo. It was, it was two, two set of blocks, and but then now they all connecting and combining. And I don't understand. I'm just, I'm still trying to figure out how hairs connect that bad. Like my hair just grows out together if I don't touch it. Like it literally becomes a whole one dread, a whole set of one dread. It's like it makes no sense to me. If I lock up, if I lock something up and I section it out. If it grows, it should grow by the section. But for some reason, it ends up interwining with other locks. And I do like, I want somebody like to really explain to me, like really this is what is happening. Because it makes sense to me. Like I'd be finding a full length of hair in a different set of, across like from it. Like I'm like, how did this one get over there? If it was like a literally five, six inch. If it was like three inch or so, it makes sense. It might, it may be new growth, but. Whenever I see like a whole, like the whole length of my dread and then winding, like you guys see right there to the other side, it's like how did, how the heck did that happen? How is it locked up across from each other? It makes no sense to me, but it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't figure, I can sit here and figure it out. I'll let y'all figure it out and comment down why that happens. Uh, since you guys are smarter than me. But you know, we just doing, we just, we just going back to my old section, my OG sections and making sure that everything is where it's supposed to belong or where it's supposed to be at and making sure that the, the bottom, the roots are tight. You know what I'm saying? Cause the tighter, the better. Uh, not too tight though. Cause then it'll put stress on your dreads, stress on your head. Uh, my dreads are still thick. Uh, of course, whenever you lock your dreads, uh, and then I, after time, after you keep retwisting it, you lose the thickness of it. But at the same time, mine is not looking that bad, to be honest with you. Um, it just looks thinner right now because we, of course, we just twisting them uh, and putting them in the clips. But this is like a dry retwist and it's very, probably the healthiest way. Maybe put some oil on your scalp or something. Uh, but for me, even if I put oil, oil doesn't help my scalp. For some reason, my hair, my head gets dry. Like, I don't know. It's just a different type of head that I have. Even compared to my siblings, I, I had a different type of head. And so we're just making sure now that, uh, you know, my scalp is clean and I shampooed and everything also. So we're just keeping everything neat. Uh, I need a haircut. Don't get on my head. I'm actually doing a self haircut and I was debating if I should do a tutorial or not. But look at this guys. And one of the things that I was telling her also is don't take, don't take it from the bottom. I didn't notice that she was doing this earlier. Uh, later on I noticed what she was doing, but I think, uh, Whenever Gunther the Great did my retwist one time, uh, he cracked it down from the top down, and it really makes more sense to do it than from the bottom up, uh, from the roots up, because it's like the dread is 
connected and and knows where it needs to be at as long as you separate it how you should separate them if you're going from the roots up i think you're going to be cutting the short at one point because it might be going to a different dread set of dreads or so can you find the other two uh that's combined let's put them up already no right i'm talking there. about the 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 congo that i had the congo that i had most of us are members. We've, uh, come to All right, that's not it. Okay. Right here is when I noticed that, that I have a different set of Congo, and I'm like, what? Is, what in the world? Look at that. That's a different Congo. I did not have that before, and I'm not trying to snatch this. And I tested it out. I looked at it, and I said, no, just lock it on its own. And I want different Congos on my hair too, so. I guess that's another one right there. But she's doing a pretty neat actually right here. She's using the little comb. I guess the only things that you need is a clip and some combs and you'd be straight. Um, but she did an amazing job. Since the back of my head, I can't see. She helps me out with it. And my hair is just annoying, super annoying. Even when I didn't have locks, when I used to get them twisted and you know, when I used to do my two strand twists, I just knew my hair, my hair was so annoying. And now she's doing all the way to the back. Just, it just seems like I have so many dreads, but I only have about 50 or so. I'm gonna do a recount since I have a few condos now um, for you guys for a video, banger video. But if you guys enjoy the rest of the video, I, I think I said enough and I know you guys know by now how to retwist your own locks, man. I can do this on my own, by myself, and all that stuff, and you can do it yourself too. You don't need nobody else to help you out, to be honest, which is very simple and easy. You just gotta have the time to do it. Obviously, I'm editing a video, and she's helping me out with it, so I appreciate it. Shout out, it's a verse. Go follow her on Instagram. Better enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. All right, guys, we just got done retwisting my dreadlock. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna give you guys the after and before uh, so you guys see the bangness, the bangerness of this transformation. Shout out to Wifey, it's a verse for hooking it up and dedicating the time to make this happen because she hates my hair not retwisted. So uh, she had mentioned that um, uh, we should, I should retwist it, at least dry retwist it once a month so it don't get bad which I agree with and also I was actually thinking about getting a professional retwist uh, next month and I'm gonna set out a day for that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a video for it because I've been growing out some of the dreads that I used to cut down whenever I got a haircut I have grown it out to where it's been about three months and so three months of growth is good to 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 lock up but it's not good enough because I know they will slip out easily uh, a five uh, like when I'm moving and doing stuff like that and that's why people that have like three months of growth to five months I think you guys should wait uh, And then lock them up later on because I know people that say oh we can lock your dreads up Just come in locticians and they robbing your money basically them things will fall off or come out not fall off But will come out as soon as you wash your hair So don't do that don't wait at least six months to start your dreadlocks I know that I uh, made a video when to start your dreadlocks and it's right now at this moment as long as you've been having your dreads growing for six months at least. And I have new growth that came out from me cutting my old like front lines and sides that kept on going into my haircuts. Now they have uh, grown enough length, they have got enough length to where they can 
be locked up. It's actually been more than three months for sure. I will lock him up all together and have a full, uh, perfect lactician with, uh, with dreadlock gel retwist video coming soon. And that's gonna be a banger. But let guess, let's get this video at least 100K, man. All you have to do is like and just comment, man. That's all you gotta do. Man. We're gonna be at 10K arriving anytime soon. And I'm gonna be doing a 10K review on my subscribers. So make sure you go to my Instagram and send me a, uh, a footage or a picture because I'm gonna be reviewing it quick review with every like a lot of people that I've been asking that and I'm dying my hair blue soon so hey blue guy so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and like hit the thumbs up hit it hit it hit it then subscribe whoa whoa then comment oh easy type in just use your you know say computer or something just type it man just type something what's up dude say what's up activers say what up you know what i'm saying but hey appreciate y'all this is the before and after enjoy